Thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. It means so much to me that you and this community enjoys my content so much and is still as interested in Five Nights at Freddy's as much as I am. The FNAF franchise has accumulated over millions of fans over the years, with tons of people loving the series to death. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming in. Oh my god, Five Nights at Freddy's. And with that, some of these fans have such an immense love for the series that they make their own games, animatronics, stories, and etc. to show support and their creativity towards the game. And I'm going to be showcasing some of that in this video. Here are the top 10 scariest Five Nights at Freddy's fan-made animatronics. Now, a couple things before I start the list. When I was researching for this video, I tried to look for animatronics that were known and that were kind of obscure, just so you guys wouldn't be seeing the same animatronics in other people's videos. And boy, can I tell you, there was a lot of good choices out there when I was researching for this video. And that leads me to say a quick disclaimer for this video. I'm going to be rating the animatronics independent from the work they were showcased in or originally from. So if they were in a very bad fan game, we're not going to be rating the game, but instead the character design. So if they were in a very good game, we're not going to be worrying about if the game was good or not, only the character designs. That also leads me to say that when ranking these animatronics, I might do it by the group instead of a singular animatronic. What I mean by that is if there's a group, like with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, etc., I may just rank the whole group as one instead of just a singular animatronic because, well, some of these designs are really good. Now, is that kind of cheating? Eh, yeah, but I don't want to make the creator of the animatronic slash characters feel like I'm disregarding some of their other characters slash work by doing so. Now, before I get into this list, you have to subscribe if you like Five Nights at Freddy's or enjoy the games. Here we go. Number 10. Starting this list is the FNAF Plus stylized animatronics. Now, FNAF Plus has been sweeping the Five Nights at Freddy's community away for quite some time now. I'm pretty sure this is the release all FNAF fans are looking forward to. The animatronics are absolutely terrifying, and Scott even backed the game himself and is helping with the development currently. But, since Scott has participated and worked on this project, I'm not going to include the FNAF Plus animatronics because technically Scott worked on them. But technically, yes, the FNAF Plus animatronics are still fan-made animatronics, so I pick these ones instead so they're 100% fan-made. I don't know Oh, but something about these animatronics feel more realistic than the other FNAF Plus animatronics. They are quite terrifying. Robin Thar Games on Game Jolt was the original creator and original maker of these animatronics, and I'd say they represent what the original FNAF Plus animatronics were trying to go for, but are more realistic. Because, let's be honest, the FNAF Plus animatronics are too scary to be in an actual restaurant. Imagine you're at Chuck E. Cheese, but then Chuck E. Cheese looks like he just came straight out of a horror movie. No one would go there, so it's a more realistic version, obviously. But I would say Chica is probably the scariest in this restyling. Though in the original FNAF Plus group, I would say Bonnie is the scariest, but something about her eyes and her mouth being just completely wide open just gives me the chills. It's a terrifying detail that makes it so much more better. Number 9 Talking about terrifying details on animatronics, Rotten Freddy is one of the most disgusting fan-made animatronics I've ever seen. Rotten Freddy is from the FNAF fan game Fredbear and Friends Left to Rot. It's a fan game made by Garrett McKay. It was released on the 16th of July in 2018 and is a sequel to Fredbear's Fright. Now, as the title of the game would suggest, the animatronics were left to rot for a long time, and the animatronics in this game perfectly reflect the rot that slowly happens over time, almost to the point where if you look up rotten animatronics in real life, they look the exact same. Now, when picking the animatronic for number 9, it's a a very hard choice. I love the designs of all of them, but I'm either gonna have to pick Rotten Freddy or Rotten Bonnie, mainly because I like the design so much, with Bonnie missing half of his face, which is a pretty nice nod to FNAF too. But regardless of me picking Freddy on this one, they are all amazing animatronics and they do accurately represent what animatronics look like after rotting for years on end. Number 8. Going with the theme of old animatronics, only OGs are gonna remember these animatronics, and those are the draw kill animatronics. Now imagine this. It was a couple days right before FNAF 3 released, and a YouTuber named Golden Lane Studio releases a trailer featuring these characters, and said video plagues your recommendation feed. Now, even though Golden Lane didn't make these characters, these originated from a user on DeviantArt named Draw Kill. Now to this day, they might not seem that scary, but back in 2015, once said YouTube video was all over everyone's recommendation feed, people thought that these were terrifying. And and that's probably because there wasn't a lot of fan art at the time for Five Nights at Freddy's since it was just a popular brand new horror game. If you remember and if you were a fan around that time of the year when the series started to blow up, you should know these animatronics. I would say these are considered forgotten as I completely forgot about these until I did the research for this video, but personally maybe I'm just dumb and forgot. I would say my favorite and what I think is the scariest one is Chica. There's just something about her long skinny arms with the spikes coming out of them and then you being able to see her rib cage that is exposed. I don't know about you but I think these are all very creepy, but Chica is the most interesting and disturbing design-wise. I don't know, it's just something about those arms, it's just very disturbing. Number 7 
Before I start, it was very hard to track down the creator of these animatronics, and I still do not know if this is the actual creator of the animatronics, so please correct me if I am wrong in the comments. With that being said, number 7 is Demented Freddy, or the Demented Animatronics. These animatronics are supposedly made by Real Fillets. I'm not too sure where the creator originally posted these animatronics from, but I will say that this is a terrifying animatronic that represents the Nightmare animatronics from FNAF 4. But after looking at all of them, this is where things got tricky for me, as all of the animatronics are extremely well made, but my first choice for number 7 was originally Bonnie. Bonnie is absolutely terrifying, but I don't know if the actual creator is still real for Liz, or if that would be me stealing artwork, so that's why I didn't pick Bonnie. But with that being said, these are all still terrifying animatronics, and I wouldn't want to see them in real life at all. But I still stand by my choice with Demented Freddy being the scariest. Number 6. The Twisted Carnival is a FNAF fan game made by Galva underscore. It is yet to be released, but a demo for one of the various mini games inside of that game was released and posted on February 1st, 2018. And more recently, a demo was released on January 17th, 2021. Now, I don't know if we are ever going to see this game hit the light of day, but it does seem like it's getting made slowly but surely. Now, ignoring how long the game is taking to be developed and released, the animatronics that were already showcased might be some of the most unique animatronics I've ever seen in a FNAF fan game. Now, for this FNAF fan game, all of the animatronics are uniquely created to represent the original ones from the FNAF series. The names are even different too. Instead of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, they were renamed to Bear Hug, Bonzo, Foxtrot, and Chixie. But I'm gonna say Chixie takes the cake for being the scariest in this game. Even though all the other animatronic designs are absolutely incredible in this game, Chixie has a very unique outfit. She is wearing a cheerleading costume. She doesn't have a cupcake in this version, and well, she has a bomb bomb in her hand. Now this is all fairly unique and never before seen in a FNAF fan game. And I like to see people try new things, with the character being terrifying and with the character trying something new, I have to keep that as number 6 on this list. Number 5 Final Nights 3 Nightmares Awakened, or just simply known as Final Nights 3, is the third game in the Final Nights series. It is a survival horror game made in Unreal Engine 4 by Liam Jolly, and it was originally intended to be the final game in the series until they decided to make a fourth one. In this game, the animatronics stay true to how they were in the previous games, except one, and that is the puppet, which is now renamed as the Reaper Puppet. If you thought the original puppet from FNAF 2 was terrifying, you clearly haven't seen this. Now, with this character originally showing up in Final Nights 3, it also makes a debut in Final Nights 4, with an even more terrifying design. The arms are stretched out, and instead of legs, it has tentacles, and the whole face is mangled and almost looks like it's melting. Now, I personally never played this game before, so I don't know how the mechanics work, but imagine that flying towards you. Personally, after seeing this, this is one of my favorite puppet designs of all time. It's unique, and it's something a little different. The tentacles are just really disturbing, so I really like this design. Number 4 Tyken Sun's Lumber Co. With a total of 8 animatronics in this game, I'd have to say Summer Crab is an animatronic I wouldn't expect coming from a FNAF game. Now, the name already tells you what it is. It's a crab, but the design takes a lot of inspiration from Springtrap heavily. But instead of it being entirely like Springtrap, it looks just like a crab. It has eyeballs outside of its head, the whole mouth is filled with sharp teeth, and instead of having hands, it has claws that are also filled with teeth. Now, imagine if this thing caused the bite of 83 or 87. That would kill you immediately. Now, regardless of how creepy and scary this design would be to see in person, it's extremely well made and has a lot of detail and I haven't seen a crab animatronic ever before so I'm gonna keep this at number four I really like this design number three and unfortunately, we will never see these animatronics come to life, ever. That is because the animatronics were from a cancelled game called Sinister Turmoil. Sinister Turmoil is a cancelled free-roaming survival FNAF fan game developed by Angel Games, and after a couple years of development, the new development team cancelled it. But there was a lot of prototypes and behind-the-scenes footage of this game, in which some of that included the animatronics that were going to be featured in this cancelled game, such as Sinister Freddy. Now, Freddy and the rest of the animatronics are clearly based off of withered animatronics, but instead of them being withered, they have no eyes and extremely sharp and deadly teeth. The reason why I like these animatronics so much is because they stay true to the original designs that they're going after, but the new design gave them an almost nightmare animatronics-like feel to them. It's unfortunate that we'll never see these animatronics come to life in the game, but I will say they left us with some very cool designs. Number 2 now I'm going to be including a whole group of animatronics just because of how amazing they all are and how amazingly designed and how much detail have been put into these compared to the rest on this list. These are the corrupted animatronics that are made by Ru hold on, Ruth Ruthium? I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure how you pronounce her name, but they designed and made all of these animatronics, which include Corrupted Freddy, Corrupted Bonnie, Corrupted Chica, Corrupted Golden Freddy, Corrupted Springtrap, Corrupted Balloon Boy, and the Corrupted Puppet. That was that was a lot of corrupted. Statistically speaking, these have got to be the most freaky and unsettling animatronics I have ever seen. With Chica having teeth as eyeballs, Bonnie having, well, multiple eyeballs, and then two very large front teeth, Balloon Boy also having teeth for eyeballs, and Springtrap having teeth split down his forehead. There's a lot of teeth in these. The only 
only reason it's not number one is because I feel like it's too much overkill for me. Don't get me wrong, the designs are amazing, but it just seems too unrealistic to the point where it's overwhelming. You can't have a top 10 video without an honorable mention. I feel like I needed one because of these animatronics I'm about to show. This is probably the ones you guys have been waiting to see, but I'm not going to put them as number one because I feel like it'd be too predictable. So instead, I put these as the honorable mention, and that's the Night Toy animatronics, which includes Night Toy Freddy, Night Toy Bonnie, Night Toy Chica, and Night Toy Mangle. All these animatronics are complete nightmare versions of what the actual animatronics are. These animatronics don't even look like robots. They look like living organisms, with Chica having a mouth on her pelvis, Bonnie having insanely long arms and legs, just, oh, just imagine that crawling after you. With Mangle just having pieces everywhere on her, they don't look like they were designed to be robots, but instead real life creatures. Unfortunately, I can't give credit for these pure nightmare field animatronics because the user that posted them on Reddit have been deleted. So I don't know who the actual user that made these are, but if you do, please comment down below. Anyways, let's get the number one. Number one. This game has taken the FNAF community by storm within the past year, and it's probably one of the most realistic FNAF fan games ever made. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is Juniors. Juniors is a point and click survival game, just like all the other FNAFs, that take place during a paranormal investigation at Juniors. With the game originally being made by Romov, I think that's how you say it, Romanov, there you go, then released by Derek and a larger team of people, Juniors released in August 2022, and the game was an instant hit, with it becoming one of the most popular fan made FNAF games ever. All of the character designs are very realistic and have a very uncanny valley feel to them in this game but with how well designed all the characters are they all could be put as number one but if you played the game or know about it we all know which one is the scariest in this game so drum roll please it's the mangle now let me tell you how the mangle appears in juniors has got to be one of the most terrifying sequences in a horror game ever as you sit there and watch your office screen you watch all of the pieces go down the conveyor and get put into the mangle all while terrifyingly suspenseful music plays in the background you sit there helpless watching the mangle be built right before your eyes but that's not even the worst part. The Mangle is nothing like the FNAF 2 one. It's basically like a huge spider-like robot that is torn into pieces and looks like it was made by a mad scientist. Imagine like a robotic Frankenstein, just pieces put together everywhere. That's the best way I can describe it. The only thing that represents the FNAF 2 Mangle is the face. Now, since the Mangle basically is a spider in this game, the Mangle has a huge long tail connected to a little owl animatronic, just for extra detail. With all this combined, this animatronic is beyond terrifying, and I would have to say is probably the scariest fan-made FNAF animatronic electronic ever. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much again for 50,000 subscribers. It means the world to me and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be part of this community. Hopefully you guys can get me to 100k soon, but if you have any disagreements with my list, please comment down below and tell me what you would put instead because who knows, I could also do a part two if I was missing a couple animatronics. So if you guys want a part two or just want to see more FNAF content, make sure to subscribe.